the name in, on the poetry circuit or the rap circuit is Amazing the Slum Interlinked, aka Virus, aka Funky Gutter Snipe. Part of the name Amazing, I, I caught in a cipher with my, with my big homie Mystic. So when I first met Mystic, I was freestyling and we were rapping. And then they were amazed because I was still a kid. I was younger than everyone in that cipher and I was killing it. So they gave me the name Amazing. And Slum Intellect sort of came around when I started doing conscious raps. Towards the end of 2008, that's when I started writing political stuff and things of that nature. So that's where the Slum Intellect part came in and then we just mashed it up. Confined in the dark chambers of history, our light keepers impure in the black skin before the physical. We experience mind bleaches. We supposed to be blind to color when poverty's my pigment, the pigment to drown in a cause. Medic system, our scars meant to be hidden. Facades define our living. The descendants of Sarah Bartman now fiending a Barbie doll image, and our minds were conflicted. It's all sickening. My writing style is a mixture of everything. I try to keep it conscious. I try to keep a good story on the surface so that if you're listening to it and you're not a detailed listener like a hip-hop fan, then you can catch, you can run with the story. But then for the hip-hop fan, I also have stuff packed in it for them in terms of punchlines and metaphors and rhyme schemes and all of that. So I'll say stuff like, um, we gotta stick together to eat like a Chinese date. See, that's a simple line. We gotta stick together to eat. That's what you catch. But then the listener will understand that, okay, I'm talking about chopsticks. Like the hip-hop fan, we gotta stick together to eat like a Chinese. So I try to pack all of that in. When the Book of Proverb dropped, I think it was 2005. That's, what, that's the day when I picked up a pen and wrote. I started writing before I was an avid reader. I prefer writing because there's more room for me to brag. If there's more room for me to show off, it's just an MC thing. We're arrogant people in a way. So with writing, there's more room for me to play around with it. You know what I mean? Bars from another planet. I'ma kill you on tracks and X your son like you're the father of Malcolm. The punch pattern is unfathomed, son is a bar savage. There's no pinnacle. Like, you can always keep stretching how to rhyme words, keep stretching how you can twist your metaphors and your punchlines around so it's crazy. And just words relate better. Knowledge. Streams in my head, I'm getting ready to flow. Dudes like, damn, the water remaining closed. Man made constructs disrupt the natural. A bunch of ignorance and pity ish that's becoming the norm. We're living for material, immaterial joys. The missions to get rid of you, get your spirit deformed. Baby kicking, but the fetus gone dead, still born. Crippled into dependence, self worth made to be naught. See, consumerism is institutionally installed. Schools teach us to hate ourselves. Corporates control the issue, so that caused medics to sell the confidence that they stripped you. Even a collagen to pumping up chest, but won't enrich you.